Hey guys, it's Kaylee. This lesson is on graphing ordered pairs in the first quadrant. Let's get started. A coordinate grid is a grid where points are plotted. Coordinate grids have two or more intersecting lines like these thick black ones here that break the grid up into quadrants. A quadrant is a section on the grid. This coordinate grid has just one quadrant and it's called quadrant one. The origin is the place where the two thick lines intersect or cross each other. The coordinates at the origin are zero, zero. The dark line that runs horizontally is called the x-axis. The dark line that runs vertically is called the y-axis. An ordered pair is a list of two numbers in parentheses and separated by a comma like this. The ordered pair tells where a point is located on the coordinate grid. The first number is called the x-coordinate and it responds to the x-axis. The second number is called the y-coordinate. It responds to the y-axis. Let's plot some ordered pairs. So here it looks like we have our ordered pair 5 comma 3. So remember this first number here responds to our x-axis and our second number responds to our y-axis. We have our x-axis down here and our y-axis up here. So to plot the, the ordered pair 5 comma 3, we have to find 5 on the x-axis to start. So if I come down to my origin point here, I'm going to move 5 on my x-axis. That's right here. And then I'm going to move 3 on my y-axis. So back at my origin, I go up to 3. Now it's where those points meet. Boom, 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 boom. And right here, that's the point that's represented by these coordinates. So I can label it 5, comma, 3. Nice work. Let's do another one. So my coordinates this time is 2 comma 8, remembering the 2 responds to my x-axis and 8 is my y-coordinate responding to my y-axis. So first let's find our 2 on our x-axis. I start at my origin, I move over 2, that's my x-coordinate. My y-coordinate, I start at my origin, I find my 8, there's my y-coordinate. So now the point where these two points meet is where my coordinate lives. So my ordered pair 2 comma 8 lives right there. Now what if I have a 0 for my x coordinate but I have a whole number 9 here for my y coordinate. So 0 on my x coordinate means from the origin I haven't moved. So my x coordinate lives right there at 0. But my y coordinate lives up here at 9 on the y axis. But because my x coordinate is 0, my actual point that my ordered pair represents is right there on the y axis. So this is the point 0, 9. And notice for every ordered pair that has a 0 in the x coordinate spot, that point will live on our y axis. Now what do you think is going to happen when I have a 0 as my y coordinate, but I have a whole number here, a 7, for my x coordinate? Well, let's find our x-coordinate on the x-axis. So starting at the origin, I go over, find my x-coordinate right there. And then my y-coordinate is a zero, so I don't leave the origin. So where these two points meet is right
right here on the x-axis. That point, 7, 0, that my ordered pair tells me lives on the x-axis. So just like the last problem, anytime we have a zero in our y-coordinate, that point is going to live on the x-axis. Let's try a different style of problem. So now on this one, I already have my point here, and what I need to find are my missing coordinates. So I know there's going to be a parenthesis and a comma. And this spot here is going to be my x-coordinate, and this spot here will be my y-coordinate. So how am I going to find my x-coordinate if I have my point here? I know that my x-coordinate lives down here on the x-axis, so if I just make a little dashed line down here, it lives at the x-coordinate 4. So I can put 4 in here. And now to find my y-coordinate, I know my y-coordinate lives here on my y-axis, so if I just draw a little line over here to my y-axis, it meets up at y coordinate 5. So I can put that right there. Now I can go ahead and label my point as point 4, comma, 5. Let's do one more like this. So again here I have my point here, but I'm missing my ordered pair. So I'm going to start with my parentheses and my comma. I know that this spot here is going to be my x coordinate and this spot here is going to be my y coordinate. So remember my x-coordinate lives down here on the x-axis. Let's go down and find it. It falls right in line with x-coordinate 9. And to find my y-coordinate, I have to trace over here to my y-axis. And it also falls on coordinate 9. So I can go ahead and label my point with my ordered pair, 9, comma, 9. Great work. Now go ahead and practice what you've learned by doing the online games and quizzes. Have fun and remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.